Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I thought I'd get some of the large locomotives out um, so I can show you how well they run around a track mat train set style layout. I know a lot of you have got got back into your hobbies now so I thought I'd show you what, what can be achieved around tight curves. Um, so I've just got the 9F running around by itself at the minute it's quite a quiet runner. I just thought I'd show you it running around the first radius curves. So if you've just bought yourself a, a train set and you want some big engines then a 9F will go around a first radius curve. This one is the one to one collection model. There's the box here. The homey one. Hornby are doing a new high detailed one now. I don't know when it's due out. I know uh, Batman do do a different one, but this is the Hornby one. I believe it's a railroad style model, but uh, it looks all right. It looks like a 9F. So there you go. I've also got a uh, Class 66 out. This is the new Batman one named Armistice 100. So we'll have that running around. He won't be going around the first radius curves though. I've got a recent addition is the Peak Class 45. I uh, can't remember the name of that one. I'll have to go and look it up. I've also got this one out of the box. This one has never run on this layout. DP2, the prototype to the class 50s, which was basically a delta body with a 50 innards. So he's quite a big locomotive, so I'll have him running around for a bit. And I've also got a standard Oliver Cromwell. This is a fairly new one as well. The National Railway Museum collection from Hornby. So there's that. I forgot to say that DP2 was a Helljar model. I said the 66 was Batman, didn't I? I believe so. And the uh, Class 45 is a Batman model. So what I'm going to do now is pause for a bit and see if I can get this thing to reverse through this set of point work. Because it did the other day. I was quite surprised how well it ran actually. Right, let's pause this. Right, now I've got everything under control. What we'll do is we'll see if we can reverse it into the engine shed there. Because these are set track points. So, let's give it a go. Nice and slowly. So if you've just bought yourself a train set and you want something bigger than the 040s and the 060s that come with it, you can run a 9F. So there we are. Right, what I'll do now, I won't go for everything. We'll just run what we've got out and I'll, I'll film them as they go around. All right, so thanks for watching again. Cheers.
I uh, hope you enjoyed that little uh, running session. Uh, I know I, I enjoyed watching DP2 going round. It's the first time he's been round. Um, he's got detail on the front, so I haven't bothered to take that off to put a coupling on it for it to put any stock because he's part of my collection, really. Don't intend to run him much, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll um I'll list all the local numbers and names in the description. So uh thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.